So therefore, the burden of proof is on the accuser. Now, it has been my observation, now other people may observe something else, that any time a black person accuses a white person of being a racist, it's just an accusation. And nothing comes of it until a white person seconds that motion. That's the way the system of white supremacy is set up. That's been my observation. That if a black person accuses a white person of being a racist, that's an accusation. But that's not proof. Why? Because a black person cannot prove the existence of racism in a white supremacist system, period. You have to have a white person to second that motion, which proves the existence of white supremacy in the first place. And anybody who has ever tried it and taken it all away has probably found that out. Or if they look at it, take a second look at it and remember exactly what happened, what the procedure was. A black person cannot prove that a white person is a racist in a system of white supremacy. That black person had better go get, go and get a white person to come up and say, Yes, I agree with this black person, that Mr. So-and-so or Mrs. So-and-so or whomever is a racist, that this white person is indeed a racist. 